Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EAFC 24 is fast approaching and we've got some ratings to get excited about as we start a new year of Ultimate Team with new ratings for a lot of top players that we look to get into our squads as soon as possible. We're going to take a look at a lot of ratings today and also talk about what EA is doing differently with ratings this year, which isn't something crazy different from previous years, but they're taking it even a step further. We're even going to look at a couple of heroes today and also look through a lot of different clubs ratings that have been posted recently because there is a lot of cheap beasts that are being unveiled right now on FC24. We're going to take a look at a lot of this today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's start with the top 50. Now you guys maybe have seen a few of these and I'll just start off by saying guys, EA with the ratings, we're never all going to agree, right? It's just like team of the year voting and team of the season voting. Nobody's ever going to agree with all of the votes and everybody that gets in, right? But then in the end, we get a team of the year or a team of the season. In the end, we're getting these cards, right? And I do want to point out some big changes that EA are making from FIFA 23 to FC 24. But let's start with the top 50. First of all, Lautaro Martinez. Here's our first example of what they're doing again this year in FC 24. They are nerfing pace on these cards a lot guys Lautaro Martinez was an 86 rated card last year he's going up to an 87 and going down in pace still looks like a solid card but that's going to be fodder super quick this year Frankie de Jong I'm actually interested for this one look at those all 80 stats in the passing dribbling and pace departments he's going to be very very useful especially with the Barcelona links things going to be very useful for chemistry and I'd be so interested to see what chemistry styles or the new play styles sorry what new play styles he will have on his card he might have some really good passing play styles now moving up Odegaard plus four overall for him but they dropped him down lower in pace just like Lautaro Martinez doesn't quite make sense but it is what it is we'll talk about that a little bit more later on Mike Magnon looks like good fodder but usable at the beginning of the game as always Marquinhos PSG links there's no Messi there's no Neymar at PSG this year but PSG links will probably still run a premium because of Mbappe, he's going to be usable, of course, as a good starter center back uh, or early game center back. Not a starter. He's not going to be that cheap, but a good card there. Luka Modric, 72 pace, 89 passing, and 89 dribbling as well. He'll be a good box-to-box -box midfielder, lacking a little bit in the pace. Throw a shadow on that card. You'll be good to go. Hyun Min Son, a downgrade, but still looks very usable and very good in game. I'll be interested to see if he gets a striker alternate position on his card this year with Harry Kane leaving and him playing a little bit more in the central role. Will EA add that alternate position to his gold card or will they wait to add it on during promos later on during the year? Probably that one. But moving on even again, we have Manuel Neuer with the downgrade. Going to still be good for those Bundesliga squads. And then we get into some of our first women's ultimate team players. And guys, inside of this top 50, there are plenty of women's players, but there are not like a crazy ton of them. Like for you guys that are worried about the women coming into ultimate team and, and maybe just like unsure of how it's going to go, I think that encompasses all of us actually. We're all just so curious to know how this is going to impact the game, especially how they play in game, but also it's just adding more cards to the game and to the market as well. Sophia Smith, 93 pace. This is going to be a card I think a lot of people will end up using uh, as a super sub, maybe to start off, maybe not the best links unless you're going to go with a full women's side. That's a lot of pace right there. Probably a really good super sub. Kind of gives me Usman Dembele vibes. I don't know about the skill moves of weak foot, but she's probably going to be pretty fast. Katoto, the Mbappe troll, 83 pace, 88 shooting. Looks like a decent card for an 88 rated. Endler, 88 rated goalkeeper. Now, obviously, guys, we look through a lot of these and we say they're going to get to be fodder cards really fast, right? Gold cards get outpaced so quickly and they're going to get even more outpaced quickly this year than ever before. But this one is one that's going to maintain for the test of time. I think at least until November, maybe even December. Valverde, Hullet gang from the start. He's going to be the best midfielder in the game to start the game, gold card wise, right? 88 pace, a huge upgrade for him. Deserved for sure, but a massive upgrade for Valverde. And he's going to be very, very expensive, especially with the Real Madrid links. Watch out for that card to be in all the top teams in the first month or two in this game. Guijaro, I'm going to butcher some of these names as always. Not a bad looking card either. A nice box to box midfielder at center mid. Um, a bunch of stats in the 80s, 72 physical, 78 pace, good box to box with Barca links. That's something to keep in, in mind that Frankie de Jong and Guijaro could work together in the midfield and get chemistry because they're both on Barcelona teams. Osman, 
big upgrade deserved for him. 90 pace, 86 shooting. I think he's kind of comparable to Holland in game. Think about it, right? High pace, high shooting but not very good passing or great dribbling and pretty physical, but not super physical like Holland is for Osaman. That's going to be a great card. Guru Riten, I think looks pretty solid. Chelsea links, interesting to keep note of there. Also Norway links for linking Erling Holland and team might come in useful there. Not a bad card. Renard, honestly, I'm going to be nice and say, Fodder, right? 53 pace, probably not a ton of people looking to use that card. Irene Paredes, a center back with 69 pace, a little bit better, but probably not going to be used the most. Now, here's a women's card that might end up being really meta, Dabinia. 84 pace, 81 shooting, and 87 passing, but potentially with the 92 dribbling, having five-star skills, as a lot of people have thought to be the case. We'll have to see when it drops in ultimate team, but that could be a pretty meta center attacking mid or striker card. Alexandra Pop, again, low pace, but high on the shooting. Probably not going to be used by too many. Nice card. Bernardo Silva, 69 pace, really, I think, is going to draw a lot of people away from that card. Not horrendous, but it is what it is. Kimmich, here's an interesting one. A lot of people are getting pace downgrades. This guy got faster. Kimmich up to 70 pace, which is definitely deserved. Makes his card look so much better than last year's FIFA. So much more usable. I'd be excited to use Kimmich's gold card if I were able to get my hands on him at the beginning of the game. Bruno Fernandez going up 86 to 88 rated and going down in pace just like a lot of other cards. Still a decent looking card. Midfielder in the Prem. Oblock, 88 rated. Good goalkeeper, good fodder. Ederson, there's not much else to really talk about here. Ederson does have a really high speed stats, 63 speed. He'll probably be a, a very commonly used goalkeeper at the beginning of FC24. And this is one of the biggest upgrades. Antoine Griezmann. Guys, Antoine Griezmann went from an 83 to an 88 rated card, and they didn't touch his pace. But oh my goodness, what a card that is. Striker, I hope he's got center attack and mid position change as well on that card. 88 shooting, 87 passing, and 88 dribbling. This screams center attacking mid is what this card screams in game. What a card that's going to be. The French links as well in La Liga. That is a mental, mental card. It's crazy to think that Griezmann is an 88. Uh, and then like Mohamed Salah is an 89. Like th those guys so close in rating for how insane Salah is in real life. Griezmann's not, you know, bad, but still... What a rating for Griezmann. What a stat upgrade for him. Mohamed Salah, slight downgrade from last year. Still very usable. The best right wing in the Prem, honestly. Vinny Jr., a bit of an upgrade for him as well. I mean, more than a bit of an upgrade. A sizable upgrade for him. 95 pace for Vinny. And he's above 80 shooting on his base gold card. 82 shooting. That's going to be a very meta card that a lot of people with big budgets will be looking to get at the beginning of the game. Moving on. A pretty usable center back card here for a Barcelona 89 rated Mappy Leon, 75 pace, all 74 and above in every single stat with 90 defense. Um, that's going to be an interesting card to watch out for. Barcelona links again as well, going to be usable. Rodri is more so just fodder, but um, honestly, that might be one of the worst 89 rated cards I've ever seen. 85 defense is the highest stat on the card, and he's 89 rated. That just screams fodder to me. Diani, 89 rated striker. That's a pretty meta looking card as well. 89 pace, 88 dribble. That's going to be usable. Hegerberg, another Norway player. Uh, links to potentially Holland, but not the best stats there. Uh, decent shooting, 89 rated, 86 dribbling. Again, so many unknowns of these women's players. We're going to have to see how they play out in game. Allison, 89 rated. Decent card, good links. Alex Morgan, um, one of the highest rated, or maybe the highest rated gold USA card we've ever seen in FIFA. 89 shooting and 88 dribbling. That's a semi-usable card as well. Actually, that's definitely usable. 83 pace, a little on the slow slide. Boost that up with uh, Kemp style. That could be very usable. Ruben Diaz, probably going to be usable for like the first month, but 62 pace, even with lengthy, is probably going to be a bit disappointing. And VVD. A big downgrade for VVD in terms of pace, guys. 90 rated VVD last year with 81 pace down to 78. That's definitely below uh, the VVDs of years past. Still probably going to be one of the best center backs in the game to start things off. Casemiro, similar to Rodri, not the most meta card. 89 defense and 88 physical, though. He still could be decent uh, in the defensive midfield. Neymar, man. 
Neymar, 86 pace. That's a downgrade for him as well. Still 94 dribbling. Still has to be 5-star, 5-star. Going to have all the flicks and the tricks. In the trailers, they showed Neymar having like those the play, play style plus. It was called like Trickster or something like that. He's probably still going to have that. But it is a little bit sad to see a bit of a downgrade for Neymar. Ter Stegen downgraded as well, I believe. Or no, sorry. That's an upgrade for, for Ter Stegen. He was 88 rated last year. Packed him every single 85 times 10 in the end game too. Um, Atina Bonmati. This is a really good looking card. I'm telling you guys, these Barcelona links for some of the women's players and the men's players, these two right here, Graham Hansen and Aitana Bonmati, look at those stats. 81 pace, 91 dribble for a center mid. That's more of an attacking center midfield player. She's probably going to be very good in the game. Same thing with Graham Hansen with 89 pace and 88 passing with 91 dribbling. That looks like a really solid card as well. Courtois being 90 rated. He's going to be pretty usable, of course, with the Real Madrid links as always. And then we get to the top nine, guys. Benzema, 90 rated for him. He didn't get the 80 pace. I think he had it last year or he was very close. Um, 88 shooting for him. I think that's actually a slight downgrade now that I remember his card correctly. Harry Kane, 90 rated as well, going up a rating. Uh, he is 69 pace. They couldn't give him that 70 pace, unfortunately. But 92 shooting, great year they had. And, of course, now with the Bayern links, Going to be even more usable in FIFA, in my opinion. Hopefully, he gets some promo cards soon to get that uh, pace boost up. Lewandowski was a 91 last year, going down to a 90, but not much change on his card. Um, he does keep his same pace of 75. And here we go for the top six. Sam Kerr, highest rated women's card, along with... Actually, just kidding. Puteas is 91. Sam Kerr is a 90. In the beta, man, this Sam Kerr card was so good, right? And I know we're not supposed to talk about the beta too much, but that card was insane in the beta. Uh, 90 dribbling. She has a ton of different play styles. That's a card to keep an eye out on. And Messi, 90 rated as well. My goat, right? Of course, Ronaldo, we've seen the memes. We've seen the official stats for Ronaldo. He's 86 rated. Huge downgrade for him. Messi, technically a downgrade as well. Hey, let's be honest. These guys are getting towards the end of their playing careers. It makes sense for them to get some downgrades, but it just kind of is painful to see, right? Because it's kind of like the end of an era, and that's painful. Poteas with 90 shooting, 91 passing, 92 dribble. That is an insane looking card as well. Kind of compare that to Antoine Griezmann, but with higher shooting, passing, dribbling, and pace, and higher defensive stats as well, that's a crazy card. We're going to have to keep an eye on that one. Might be one of the most expensive women's cards in the game for a while. Super meta looking. And then we have the top three. Kevin De Bruyne, going to be usable in the midfield with his insane passing stats, good dribbling, and long shots for shooting as well for KDB. And then Erling Holland and Mbappe. Mbappe actually is getting an upgrade from last year in terms of plus two physical and plus one shooting. That 97 pace and 90 shooting off of the bat, I mean, that's this is going to be another year where Mbappe is just going to be as meta as ever. He's still keeping that 91 rating. He did not go to 92, but he's got that plus one shooting and the plus two physical. He's going to be so insane. Erling Holland gets a plus two shooting boost as well, guys. He was 91 shooting last year. He's going to 93. Uh, his pace is 89, which I think is staying the same. Yeah, his pace is staying the same from FIFA 23. But a couple of these like cards that are getting big upgrades, like Holland going from 88 to 91, and he's not going up in pace at all. Guys, here's the reasoning behind that, right? The reason why EA is doing that, as we start to look through a, a few more ratings here very soon, um, the reason why they're doing that is they got to leave more room for the progression, right? Look how many special cards Erling Holland had last year. A lot of those, of course, coming at the end game with the 297 rateds and then the 99 footies, right? But they got to leave room for progression throughout the entire year. And I think that's one of the reasons why they're keeping the pace low. And on some of these upgrades for players that we saw, they're not even boosting the actual card stats that much, right? Like some of these cards, like we mentioned, even for Rodri, like that's the worst 89 rated player you've ever seen. Well, I think that's because for a lot of these players, they're just trying to bring... Um, they're just trying to create a gap, right? And they're not rating the gold cards as high as they used to anymore so that they can give out special cards. And there's going to be even more ways to get special cards this year through the evolutions and all the stuff that's happening with that. Uh, I, I think that is one of the ways where EA is trying to fit the new gold cards into like the power curve from the start of the game uh, by actually giving them some less stats or 
not upgrading their stats as much so that they have more room to upgrade those over time. Now, that's just my opinion, but we, of course, know how EA love their promos, and we're going to see a ton of special cards throughout this entire year. Now, let's get into some more ratings because there is a lot to talk about here. Foot Scoreboard tweeting out a couple new heroes. These are base heroes, guys. The heroes that we saw before uh, that I think are actually on Footbin and they're on these other sites. These hero cards, like this Vincent Company 89 rated, that is the Champions League hero version. This is the base version that will be in packs at the beginning of the Ultimate Team year. Vincent Company 80 pace, 90 defense, and 86 physical. That is his official dynamic image as well. That's a great looking card. He's going to be very expensive, of course, with Premier League links. An insane card. Very deserved for him. Uh, what's his Champions League card? His Champions League card goes up one pace. Looks like a lot of plus ones and plus twos around that card from where this one is. So not a massive upgrade there. Looks like plus two passing and plus four dribbling. But, I mean, that's kind of how it goes with these hero cards, right? Because these new ones are going to be coming out in, like, what is it, December as well. So this card will be usable for a long time. He's going to be very, very meta. And then we also have an official image and stats for Viali. 86 pace, 89 shooting, 82 dribbling. A little bit low there on the dribbling, but still going to be a usable hero card with Serie A links at the start. Now, I want to fly through some of these squads, guys, and take a look at some cheap beasts. And a lot of these ratings that we have here, uh, a lot more players that we might be able to afford earlier on or just some other really meta players. Manchester City official ratings and we've seen like the top half of this Phil Foden 81 pace he's never really a usable card at the beginning of FIFA's unless he's super meta this year for play styles or something 81 pace and 89 dribbling is good but it's not like wow you know Jack Grealish 76 pace 88 dribbling kind of the same thing John Stones 72 pace for John Stones that's not a terrible card he's getting an upgrade to 85 he was an 83 Kyle Walker getting a downgrade but still maintaining his 90 pace and still going to be one of the best right backs in the game. Akanji. Watch Akanji and Gavardiol and Ake, guys. These three center backs are going to be probably a bit cheaper. I would have to imagine somewhere around 25k or less in the early game stage. They're going to be really good center backs, especially Ake, man. Ake had one of those play styles that I used when uh, playing an early build of, of Ultimate Team. And he was a beast. I forget what play style it was, but he was really, really good. Mateus Nunez's card looks really solid as well. 79 rated center mid with 83 pace, 81 dribbling. He'll be a cheap card to look out for. Not too bad. And then Doku, of course, all pace for Manchester City there. Let's keep looking through Arsenal. We've got now Saka is 86 rated. Good looking card there. Declan Rice with 71 pace. His best card I think he's ever had uh, for a gold card in FIFA. Doesn't look too bad. Partey looks a little bit worse than him. Hey Zeus, 83 pace, 82 shooting. He's a prem striker. He'll be usable at the beginning of the game, but he's not that insane. And Martinelli, 89 pace. That's a nice card for him as well. Gabriel with 70 pace. He'll be used. Ramsdale, okay. Saliba though, guys. Saliba, 82 pace, 84 defense, 82 physical. That's going to be a very meta card that a lot of people will try to put in their starter teams. But he is not going to be that cheap, guys. I could see this Saliba card being 40, 50,000 coins. He is going to be a very, very in-demand card for starter teams this year. The rest of the squad here, Timber looks decent. Uh, Zinchenko, Trussard, Havertz don't look that usable, but you could probably get away with them in the first couple of weeks or so. And now we go on to Chelsea. I'm trying to fly through a lot of these cards here, right? We had a lot of ratings. Reese James looks more like a midfielder than a right wing back with those stats for FIFA's sake. 80 pace with an 80 uh, plus everywhere else except for shooting. Not a bad card. Sterling, 83 rated. Big downgrade for Raheem Sterling. Still semi-usable and probably going to be uh, in starter teams just because he'll be a lot cheaper this year for sure. Caicedo going from a silver up to a gold. 80 rated just looks okay. Fofana, cheap center back for a starter team looks okay. That's how I feel like a lot of these Chelsea cards look, bro. They just look okay. Madueke with 90 pace. That'll be good. Uh, Jackson doesn't look like he has that great of a card. 78 rated, but I mean, his highest stat is 79 shooting and 80 dribbling. Just an okay card personally there. Chelsea cards don't look that super usable uh, besides Nkunku. And Nkunku looks really, really insane. Um, almost, you know, 80 above in every stat except for defense and physical. That's going to be a great card. Hopefully has uh, the skill moves as well moving forward into FC24. Real Madrid. Let's move over to La Liga for a bit more. Bellingham, guys. Jude Bellingham looks awesome. Now, I know you're like, Nate, he's 86 rated and has 85 dribbling as his highest stat. 
they got to give room for upgrades. But Jude Bellingham is going to be really OP this year. I think a lot of people are going to use him. Also, the hype for real life is going to push that a little bit more. Millie Tao is going to be almost in every meta starter team as well. 85 pace, 86 defense. What a card for Millie Tao. Rudiger looks really good. Alaba looks okay. Um, a little bit lacking in the pace, but he also, we're going to have to see how like the big and tall center backs play versus the shorter and more agile ones. He's got 79 dribbling, which is pretty high for a center back and um, still really good defensive stats. That's a card to keep your eye on. Rodrigo looks really good. Chameni looks solid. He's going to be a bit cheaper. He looks solid though. Ferland Mendy, 92 pace. Still Furlan Mendy, 86 physical as well. He's going to be good. Kamavinga honestly looks solid too. 79 pace, 80 passing, 82 dribbling. That's going to be a good early game midfielder for a lot of people to use in FC24. Now we go to Barcelona. We got a couple more teams to look through, guys. All right. Hang in there with me. We've got Araujo as 86 rated, 79 pace though. I think he's going to be usable, but if he had 80 pace, I think a lot of people would like that a bit more. The Real Madrid center backs, I think, look a lot better than he does. Kunde though looks really good. It, like Compare Kunde to Araujo. Kunde looks cracked. 84 pace, 86 defense. Wow. Rafinha looks good. I think Rodrigo's a bit better. Pedri looks actually usable for a gold card i used him at the early game last year and he was okay but then he got passed up super duper quickly Cancelo looks usable christensen not really ferran torres not really gavi uh balde with the pace he looks pretty usable as well he should be pretty cheap uh and then of course fati's uh gonna be 78 rated but not on bar so that should be his card but for brighton 89 pace and 80 dribbling he'll be pretty cheap there too last couple of clubs byron We've seen a few of these already. Musiala going up to 86 rated with 92 dribbling. He's going to be a usable card at the beginning of the game. Coman will be good as always. Goretzka with a downgrade. Um, he's still almost Hullet Gang though. 78 pace and the rest are 80 and above. So that's a card to keep an eye on right there. Thomas Muller going down to 84 rated. Serge Nabry looking okay. Sané looks good with the pace that he has. The weak foot will be the problem. Kim Min Jae, cheap beast right here, guys. 84 rated Kim Min Jae for the Bayern Lynx. You've got 80 pace, 85 defense, and 84 physical. Alfonso Davies looks really solid as well. And Upa Meccano. This is why Kim Min Jae is going to be a cheap beast. Upa Meccano will overshadow him, guys. 83 pace, 81 defense, and 83 physical. People remember Upa Meccano. They remember the name. He's been overpowered at the start of years past. He is French, right, which helps him out. Kim Min Jae is Korean. Maybe not as good of nation links, but he's still Bayern. He's got better defense and physical stats, and he's going to fall under the radar. Watch out for Kim and Jay because he might be a really, really cheap beast compared to guys like Oop Meccano, who probably will be a bit more expensive because of the hype and, and the ratings. Now, a couple more French cards. We looked at a few, but Kolomani, guys, 91 pace for him and 86 dribbling. His shooting stat isn't that insane, but 84 rated. That's not a bad starter card. Uh, Usman Dembele, PSG links. You can link it to that Marquinhos. And Mbappe still, of course. 93 pace, 88 dribble. He's probably going to have five-star skills and be very usable. Ben Yedder looks solid as always, but a lower rating this year. Diaby with 95 pace. This is giving me like Alan St. Maximin vibes type of thing, man. Honestly, 95 pace and 87 dribble. Either a super sub or just, you know, running down the wing with that pace for cutbacks to your strikers. That's just, that sounds like FC24 early game right there. All right, last couple teams here. We've got Manchester United. We've seen a lot of these already. Rashford. Rashford looks really good. 90 pace, 86 shooting, and 84 dribbling, and a striker uh, change for position for Rashford. That looks really good for him. Varane, I wish he had 80 pace, but he's got 79. Um, he still looks very usable. I think Varane might be less expensive this year. Varane's been the center back that like so many people have gone for in the past few years, but not having the 80 pace mark, even though his rating is still actually going up, he went down in pace. I think having 79 pace is going to hurt his card just a little bit, but it's Varane. He's always meta. So, uh, he is going to, he is still going to be a very good card. I did not even realize right away. Now I'm seeing it. That Rashford upgrade is huge. Rashford got a massive upgrade. Wow, GG's, man. That's going to be a really, really meta card, too. Um, the rest of the Manchester United team here looks okay. Wambasaka might be usable for the first week. Um, Garnacho is just a little bit of pace. I mean, the rest of the team just looks okay, but wow, Rashford, insane upgrade. Varane still usable. Um, and then you can even argue that um, Lissandro would still be usable for a bit, too. But a lot of the rest of the squad here for FIFA purposes 
Don't look that amazing. And then a couple Serie A squads here to finish things off, guys. Osaman, we, we saw him. He looks cracked. Kavicha, 84 pace, 87 dribble. That's a really good card, too. Guys, Serie A is always overlooked. Always. Always Serie A is overlooked, guys. Keep an eye on these players. They'll be a lot cheaper and a lot better to build starter teams with. Zielinski, 4-star, 5-star with 86 dribbling, 81 pace. That's a really good center attack in mid or a center midfielder. Di Lorenzo, he might not fly under the radar as much as probably the best right back in Serie A, but he looks pretty solid. And Zambo Anguisa looks really good as well. I know he's only 3-star, three 3-star. Three That's a really, really good looking card there. And then, of course, we've got a Inter set here with Barella, 86 rated. Bastoni looks all right. Um, and then you've got Quadrado, overpowered as ever, still five-star skills. Taram looks like a cheap French striker that might be decent as well, 84 pace and 77 shooting. Um, and then Mkhitaryan, still four-star, five-star, 81 rated though this year. So maybe a cheap beast as well. And then Openda, have to shout out Openda. What a stat boost for him in terms of the shooting. 73 shooting last year in FIFA 23 to 79 in FC 24 and an overall rating boost of a plus seven. But once again, guys, gets an upgrade and his pace doesn't move. So those are all the ratings that we have right now. There's going to be more posted and we're waiting for EA to drop the database, right? Once the database drops, we'll have so much more fun looking into all the ratings and starting to build our squads of players that we're going to be using to start the year of FC 24. But as of right now, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, what do you like, what don't you like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of these ratings. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in another video soon. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. See you guys there. Peace out.